Well, it's day one of our whitetail hunt here in Wyoming. We try to get out every year in the middle of November and we've had some good fun the last few years doing it. Rattle in a lot of bucks, but nothing too big. Uh, up in Montana on a general tag there for a week and now down here, it's uh, November 12th. So we should be about pre-rut, um, if not rut. So we'll uh, get packed up here and head to the woods. Previous year in Montana, Dan had very good results, rattling and grunting on public land. The rutting action is fast and up close. We found our first scrape today is November 7th, but we're gonna set up our decoy and do our first sequence. We're just gonna hop around in this river bottom country all day and do this. So our first scrape, it's a good sign of the rut coming. We just had a great encounter with our decoy and two bucks. Nice four point at 45 yards, just waiting for that angle and for, I mean, literally seconds from shooting him. And a guy and his daughter shotgun. They just walked by like right at the perfect time of those deer coming in. Unbelievable. Public, public land luck. Oh my gosh, it's devastating. over here so hopefully they come down from here from up there I'll be able to shoot them before they get downwind too far but I'm not gonna I won't be able to waste any time I'm gonna have to shoot them right here because about that's where the wind's going
แมะแมะบาบาไปไปมิสต์เขาไม่รู้ว่าอะไรเกิดขึ้นโอ้ยสมองสติมฉันจะมิสต์ไฟพอยต์To where he's standing, I looked at the footage, and I shot right underneath his brisket, right behind his elbow, just right under him. It was 31 yards. He came in to fight to the Montana decoy, like the old Montana decoy winking at him there too. I hate missing. That sucks. <laughs> Once it gets a little later, we're gonna loop around and work down that ridge right there. Get about mid. Back in Montana, an overnight snowstorm has brought cold temperatures and six inches of fresh snow. Even though Dan is bow hunting during the general rifle season, he is hoping the change in weather has the bucks up and moving hard today because it's the final day of the hunting season. day of the season, the last hour. I'm super pumped on the way that we took this deer. 11th hour, final day, final evening. It's gonna be dark in like 45 minutes. We gotta get out of here. And it just all came together. But sometimes the way it goes, holy smokes. Welcome back to Eastman's Hunting TV, where EBJ staffer Dan Picar is bow hunting public land whitetails in Wyoming from the ground during the general rifle season. As if that's not tough enough, the end of the season is rapidly approaching, and Dan is desperately trying to beat the clock. Let's check in to see if there's any last-minute luck to be had on this one. Some, 
Well, I hit him pretty good, a little forward, but I was shooting up at an angle and it came out dead center of his shoulder on the far side, so 40 yards heart shot, that's what we'll do to you. Great Wyoming public land, General Tag, five by four whitetail. We li literally sat down, set the Montana decoy up and started rattling. And this buck, we, we heard the leaves and he came running in right behind us. And I stopped him on the skyline at 60 perfect broadside and that's all it took. It's funny how that works. You miss a 30 yard shot and X-ring a 60 yard shot. <laughs> but I'll take it. What a day, what a season. Thanks for joining us on this week's episode. And remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game. We'll see you right here next week on Eastman's Hunting TV.